Now, buddy, the most interesting aircraft slash watercraft of all times. Yes, of course, I'm talking about the Ekrano plan. You know, a project from the Soviet Union in the 1970s. This plane slash boat, I really don't know how to classify it, is something called a ground effect vehicle. Um, I mean, I talked about it quite a while ago. Basically, it has short wings and, you know, aircraft engines, as you can tell, which help it get really fast. It actually does end up getting lift above water and it uses ground effect to fly and go very quickly above water indeed. And this was the biggest ground effect vehicle ever built, the KM. Everybody, in today's video, I would like to very much fly it. See, we've never really seen a proper model for it for any flight simulator or anything. But everybody, guess what I found here on Steam? A dedicated game, Soviet Monsters Ekranoplans, which has a bunch of interesting watercraft from the Soviet Union. And it's rated very well, Jesus Christ, mostly negative. Ekranoplans are good, this game is not. <laughs> this is one of the most disappointing titles I've ever had so far. So this is Things, things, things are looking good. I bought this. This was 15 euros, by the way. Not that cheap. But it's for sure the only option we'll ever get to fly in a chronoplan. So let's do this. Uh, highest resolution. Doesn't go very high. All right, let's do this. Oh, no. I think I made a mistake with this video. God damn it. All right. Now, by the way, if you want to watch some proper, you know, history content and want to actually find out, you know, stuff about this plane, just watch a proper video. Here we're doing trash. Soviet monsters, a chronoplan. Let's go single mission. Oh god, I, I didn't expect this video to turn out that bad. Okay, let's select a mission. Something the Chrono Plan was of course used for was military use, you know, mostly for transporting stuff. So for example, we can transport this RSD missile, I guess. So let's go ahead and transport that. Okay, it's time now to select a plane. We have a few Chrono Plans here indeed. Some smaller ones here. And these were all some interesting projects of these kind of hydro... Did this... Oh, this thing even existed as well. This is crazy. All right, let's pick the biggest one. The KM, everybody. All right. Top speed, 550 kilometers per hour. This plane truly was fast. And it's kind of sad that it totally failed and doesn't really exist anymore these days. We'll talk about that later. Let's go and press OK. Um, all right, comrades. We can select... All right, this is the Soviet Union. We, we can have um, this guy here, Vladimir. Sounds good. Officers. Yeah, let's put him in here. Okay. This is a very stupid game here. All right. Now we have this RSD, you know, missile here. And we have to deliver it to eight locations marked on the map. We can load. Oh, we have to actually load it as well. This is actually a bit of a detailed game, I guess. All right. So welcome aboard the Chrono Plan. Why is this shaking? All right. Looking good. Uh, we've got controls. All right, loading the RSD, and so welcome aboard the plane. Can we now go into the cockpit, please? Oh, yes, here we go. Welcome aboard the Ekrano plan. This does really look like a plane cockpit. We've got a classic yoke here. Let's go ahead and start up our engines. We've got lots and lots of them. Here we go. Engines warming up. Hey, engines, huh? Good one. All right, let's go ahead and speed up right here. Left shift. All right, okay, let's do this. We can, uh, we can steer. Oh god, this is, this is pretty bad. This is a bad flight simulator ep episode, I've just realized. Okay. Let's, uh, let's take off soon, please. Go lift. Lift up. We, of course, though, won't be able to reach high altitude. Yes, really, this was only made for flying, like, 10 meters above ground, something like that. Alright, you know what? I, I kind of understand the reviews now. We're about to crash into land. Yeah. Let me tell you, this is something that was real as well. This plane was incredibly hard to fly. Oh, damn. That didn't go very well at all. Mission failed. Comrade is dead. D are you sure? That was just a th I just got stranded. Shut up. Well, this right now is happening in 1969. That's kind of nice. All right. There we go. Let's, uh, let's take off. Right there. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's do this. All right. Jesus Christ, the, the sound really is terrible. All right, let me now try to maintain control of our chrono plan here. Again, it's not really the plane's goal to take off. It's really, you know, just going fast. So, uh, why isn't it doing that? Come on. We are in the cockpit. Got a life kind of cockpit here. No instruments. 
Uh, can we please just get out of the water now? Of course, that's really the thing that makes this plane go fast. You know, water just has lots and lots of drag, much more, of course, than air does. Taking off really gets you to some speeds, but this plane is just slow. It, it, nothing is happening at all. We're about to beach again. Come on, no. Let's not do that. Please take take off. Why is this so bad? Help! Literally, I've seen kayaks faster than this plane. This is the chrono plan. Why are we not going fast at all? Literally. Come on, full power. This is absolutely miserable of a game. I just wanted to mention that. That's great. It's a good, good thing. All right, you know what? Let's just crash. That's like the only way out now. Yes. Look at that. Oh, I want to stay. Sadly. All right. We've got some more missions. Can we just... Oh, my God. All right, we have to rescue someone. That doesn't matter. All right, let me try another kind of plan that actually flies. How about, how about this one here? That sucks. <laughs> Bartini. Sounds like a drink. All right, let's do this. All right, this is the top secret stealth mission. Yes, that's something a chrono plan could do as well. Of course, it flew at such low altitudes, so it didn't appear on any radars or sonars as well because it was above water. That's good. Let's go take off. Uh, all right, here you go. Turn on the engines. Meanwhile, let's also maybe get some ammo on board so we can, you know, protect ourselves in our... <sighs> You know what? It doesn't really matter. Let's go just do this. Right. Let's, uh, let's do this now. Come on. Full power. Full power. Yeah! This does seem to have a little bit more power now. Look at that. It looks cooler as well. All right. So let's do this. Now, and you know, this plane can also came out in the 1970s. And I keep saying plane. It's more of a watercraft, really. But why does it look more modern than like a A380? All right. Anyway, let's take off. Oh, God. Not again. Yeah, as you can see, these things are were not really agile. What are we doing? All right, come on, take off now. Full power. See, this is truly one of the worst 15 euros I've ever spent. All right, let's go. All right, come on now. Oh, yeah, that's some proper speed now. All right, let's do it. Will we be able to actually get out of the water as well? Why is it so broken and so laggy? This absolutely annoys me, this game. Like, why can't you just be proper? All right, come on, take off. We take off, please. Full power. This one looks good now. By the way, I like how it has literally the same cock, but as the chrono plan. All right, lift off. Lift off and no lift off. There's nothing will fly here. Who made the simulator? I mean, it is funny. There's pretty much no picture of any of the Ekrana plans really flying. <laughs> oh, that's, that's looking great. Well, yeah, this is one of the worst games I've ever spent 15 euros on. That's great. And so, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, <laughs> as always. Good night.